Hi, I'm Tom Craven. I thought I'd bring you along for the walk today. Uh, I'm going to actually be doing some photos while I go. And it's just to kind of show you the thought process behind why I'm taking these images and then how I'm going to go about editing these and then what I'm going to do with them. So let's get into it. I'm using the Nikon D850 with a 28mm uh, lens 2.8. It's actually an old uh, film lens uh, for a Nikon Tekina lens. So it should be quite nice wide open. Um, and it's also, I've gone for the wider one because I've actually been shooting a lot on the 85mm lens that I've got that's a 1.8, uh, which is able to isolate the subject because of the depth of field, but it means that you don't get to see the entire environment that they're in. So that's why I've gone for a really wide lens. One of the shots that I want to get is out of this traffic light system that I'm coming up to now. Um, it's just a junction that's quite busy that's near me. Um, and it's to show that how empty it is and how few cars there are. Watch as soon as I get there, all the cars will appear. I'm just hoping that that comes across on camera of how empty it is and that it works as a photo. So this is the uh, traffic light system that was on out. It's got a few cars now, of course it has, because that's exactly what happens whenever you try to film something near a road. But you can see that it's quite wide. I have to go down to 20 miles an hour. Right. I think I'm going to have time to do it. Yeah, let's go. So I don't know if that image is actually going to work because it's such a wide pano. It's probably about four or five shots, but we'll see when we get back. I kind of like this because it looks like the plants are taking back over the land. So I found one weed that kind of stood out on its own against the red brick. Um, and between the red brick and the concrete, I just like the fact that it stood out because it was able to grow and thrive uh, while we're not able to go out and destroy it. As much as I don't like weeds. Another photo I want to get is a cyclist going past because everyone's suddenly taken up cycling, haven't they? Um, or running. So I just need to get a cyclist. I need to have a work out where's best for the lighting. So I found where I'm going to do it. It's another crossing. Nice and wide. Just got to now wait for someone to actually cycle past, haven't I? So I'm home now and I've already got the photos into Lightroom ready. Um, and just going to go through them with you to edit them uh, and show you my thoughts and feelings behind them and why I've decided to do it this way and what I was trying to capture. So the first one is actually going to be the pano that we did at the uh, traffic lights. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because it was completely handheld and when you're doing a pano you need to be you need to keep the uh, camera parallel in one uh, axis at, at all times otherwise it doesn't quite stitch together um, correctly which is why you quite often see them with wonky horizons if you've put them together yourself so let's just select all of the images that are different so we've got all five there and I'm going to go to photo merge and then panorama and then let's see what it comes up with hopefully it can just stitch them together and I know I made them overlap uh, quite a bit by about a third of the image um, on each one um, just to make sure that there was enough data there to be able to. I'm just hoping it, that this lens doesn't really distort because then it will struggle to stitch them together. Um, just to give it a minute. The way I always have it when I'm looking at photos is I go over to develop, then get rid of the bottom as well. And then for now, I'm going to leave the two sides. I leave the sides because I feel like sometimes I might use one of the presets, like I've got a coronavirus preset, which is going on my project for coronavirus and how the pandemic is affecting us. And really what that is doing is it's muting a lot of the colors because I don't want these to be looking vibrant and bright and happy because they might not necessarily be. This being a very empty road in a way is good because it means less people are driving and not polluting the world, but it's bad because we're actually not able to go and do our, our normal kind of day-to-day -day life. So the reason that I'm taking these photos is I kind of want to be able to look back at what life was like during possibly my only ever pandemic that I'm going to live through. Um, and I just think it'll be fascinating to look back at 
um, in years to come how it really did affect us in a way that we probably never thought it would. So the image is now stitched together. Uh, it's so ridiculously wide. That's the first thing I'm going to change is it doesn't need to be that wide. Let's unlock them. So I'm not sure how much I want. I see I want to cut that off, but at the same time I really don't. I think, I think there, and then I'll get rid of that tree. Um, this way, not a whole lot is going to go. And then Auto it, see if it can work out. Yeah, it, you know, it was slightly off, but I couldn't work out where. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I know that that's like super duper wide still, but that was the point was to be nice and wide. So let's just bring the exposure up a little bit. Then if we bring the highlights down there. Getting blown out uh, almost all the way, isn't it? And then bring the whites down to about. Um, I'm gonna have to edit this a little bit differently. So if I bring that down and bring the exposure back down, then I'm gonna have to take the shadows up, put the blacks down. So what that does, putting them like that, is it kind of makes it look a little hdr -y, but punchy still. Um, whereas HDR would be completely flat, at least the blacks are making it still kind of punch out a little bit. It's a case of just playing with them sometimes just to get the, the balance that you wanted. So then it's kind of tree and tree on either side, so it's not so bad. That's right now. So as you can see, it's very empty. Uh, I think there might be like, it's so quiet, this guy is just walking in the middle of the road to cross probably that going from here all the way over to there to cross the road and then this way there's one car coming i mean i could photoshop that out but i kind of like the fact that there's only the one car but it's a nice vast kind of space uh, and again this kind of only makes sense when you see the whole portfolio of these photos what i'm going to do is that these are all going to go onto my website into an online gallery that anyone can view and just to have a look at uh, just because i think they're going to be somewhat important these photos that we take in this time let's move on to the next image which is this weed here uh first thing first i was taking it like just underneath uh, trying to take it from the screen ballparking it completely and having to do manual focus because there was a street party happening opposite i didn't want to stick around too long uh, i know a street party in lockdown it's ridiculous so, if we change this four by five, yeah, I think that works. Okay, and then go for coronavirus. Now, what I'm going to do in this photo is see the, the the red has been muted with that. These were quite bright bricks. What I need to do is change. I'm not particularly happy with that green. I don't know what it is. Um, do I need to go that way? And I suppose that gives it a little bit more life to it. Yeah, there we go. So it's a bit more green, a bit more oranges in there. Oh, oh no, that's affecting the... Let's go back to wherever that was there. Leave that there for the brick. Um, see, I think the greens are a little bit tinny. I suppose they're not, are they really? Um, and then what I can do is I can bring down the luminosity of the greens. Oh, not that much at all. Just to there. So again, this is a photo that wouldn't make sense on its own. Uh, it only makes sense when you look at it as this body of work that I'm doing. And then I took this one as I was kind of going past and I kind of thought it was a little bit funny that it says business as usual, but then it's actually a case of it's closed. I d again, I don't know if it really makes sense. Um, like, it, I don't know, let's have a look. Let's see if I can edit it in a way that 
at least makes sense to have it in there. Okay, I think that's a good crop. I kind of like the fact that there was a reflection of the spar in the background. I've decided to edit this one instead just because it looks a little bit sharper um, than the other one. Uh, it still gives the exact same effect. I think possibly it's a little bit too warm. There we go, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's okay. Again, it makes sense just in this body of work. It would make, I would never take that photo otherwise. Um, so then I got these cyclists um, and actually you can see that they're looking at me or at least he's looking at me. Um, I don't know if I actually like the fact that he's looking at me because it kind of shows how quiet it is that he heard the camera going. Psh. I know you won't have heard it. It was on silent shutter. So I don't know if that's kind of a good thing that he's looking directly at me while he's front and center. So just put that on. I think that works. Um, could I Photoshop this out? Am I gonna have the same issue as I did before? Let's have a go, let's see if I can get rid of it. So, it's gonna be brush that big, just for these bits. Okay, let's see what that does. Uh, that, that worked pretty well, that worked pretty well. Nice and wide, that wasn't it? Flipping heck. It just works so well, doesn't it? Right, that works. You would never have known that that wasn't there. There we go, that's just that distraction gone. So from that to that, it's pretty good to me. Again, this is to show what we're now doing in lockdown is that there is no traffic and there's these two cyclists. And it's so quiet that they've been able to notice me um, there. And it's, uh, it's quite interesting going out and seeing so many people now taking up cycling. If you've taken up any new hobbies in this time, just let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel and let me know that you actually enjoy this kind of content where I am taking you through step by step of what I'm actually creating. But stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.